Hello everybody and welcome back to Terraria. Um, as you can see, I've, uh, Facebook messages. <laughs> as you can see, I've um, advanced a little bit further from where we left off last time. Uh, most notably, I've laid down a floor on the basement at the base here. And you see, if you see these little, these two little wooden platforms here and here, they're going to be the entrances to the mine shaft, I think. Uh, and I've leveled this, I've made this a little bit longer, not too much, but just enough to get a few more trees in. Um, I've also worked out that they need to have the trees need to have at least two blocks space between them um, to in order to uh, yeah in order to grow properly um, and I think now what I'm going to do is just work on the basement okay so um, I've I've been struggling to figure to think of things that I want to talk about in in these videos because I realize it's going to get a little bit boring if all I do is talk about uh, either talk about me mining um, as I'm doing at the moment you know talking talk about uh, MSN voice <laughs> MSN things going off always useful um, if I just talk about the oops yeah if I just talk about um, what's happening in Terraria it's gonna get very boring very quickly because all I'm doing at the moment as you can see is mining downwards so it will it will be quite boring um, so what I think I'm going to do is just have a little chat about uh, different video games that have come out recently or not so recently if, if that's what I feel like at times and uh, my thoughts on them and how I feel they could be improved because every video game no matter how good it seems can be improved uh, and the most notable one to come out recently was obviously Duke Nukem Forever um, which I wasn't the greatest fan of I played I haven't completed the game yet but I have uh, completed the demo and got uh, a, a fair way into the game and I'm not a fan of it. Uh, I think that it's it's fun to kill a couple of hours on, no doubt. And um, I think I've put those in the wrong place. Uh, and it is an interesting game game style, but. Uh, But I think 14 years of development hell and 14 years and uh, 14 years of hype have basically killed it for me. I knew it wasn't going to live up to the hype, but I had a slight expectation that it would, and a, well, a slight hope that it would. I think is a better way of putting it, and it just didn't. I'm afraid. Um, but the developers did a good job on it, and as I said, it is. <coughs> it's a game for it, it's a good game to kill a couple of hours on, I suppose. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of any recent games that I've played that have come out. Well, any games that I've played recently that have also come out recently. Yeah, yeah. There's sense to be made somewhere in there, but please don't ask me where it is. If you have any suggestions of topics that you'd like me to talk about, um, please do put them in. Leave a comment saying them, because otherwise you're just going to get me blabbering on about politics, which, let's face it, nobody wants to listen to. Not even politicians want to listen to other to people talking about politics. So uh, that wouldn't be good. Um, as you can see, when I'm diggy diggy digging down here, uh, every five that I dig down, I think it's five, it's about that. Um, I'm putting a, a pair of uh, wooden, what are they called? Wooden platforms, uh, so that I can just jump up them like that, like I have up there, and I can just fall through them as well, which is useful uh, because it means that I can 
uh, I can make a quick escape from the mine shaft and I can get down there quickly. Uh, green slimes. I love the slimes because they are easy to kill uh, and they drop a lot of gel. I mean, their main the main drop is gel, uh, which I quite like because it means that I can make lots of torches, which are always useful. Uh, yeah, that, um, how long have we got left? About another five minutes. Okay, um, coming back up here quickly, I think I've just had an idea. I think I'm going to make this the basement level. And so, I'm going to have two levels that are going to be basements for um, a combination of storage and just because I like the look of basements. And so I think I'm going to use these two levels. And when I have enough chests to put chests in them, uh, they'll be filled with chests. Um, but for now, I think stone blocks down the walls and a stone backing. Um, I can't actually put the stone backing in at the moment, I don't think. No, I won't have enough, st enough stone, but I can get some later on. There we go. And obviously, I want to put two of these down there. <coughs> and just finish off this. Now I'm going to talk a bit about the different the weapon that I'm using at the moment. It, it is a wooden sword, and it's technically a long, uh, broadsword. Now the reason that I like it is that unlike the, um, unlike the short sword, which I'll show you late in a later video when I have one made, because I don't think I can make one at the moment. Um, it swings all the way around and allows me to hit things that are. Oops. So I'm going to die soon. Uh, yeah, it allows me to hit things that are all around me rather than just straight in front of me. So it's it's useful for killing demon eyes because they're horrible, horrible things that will not leave you alone until either you die or they die. Speaking of death, I was about to, oh, was about to. I am about. To, yeah, I died. Uh, when you die, you drop, um, I think it's about half of the coins that you're currently holding. Um, and you have to wait until you respawn. Luckily, I died in my house. So, um, so I could pick up my coins pretty quickly. But obviously, if you're in a mine shaft, at the bottom of a mine shaft, or in a dungeon, then you're not going to be able to pick them up as quickly and so you are going to lose them. Um, let's kill these zombies. I love killing zombies. I don't know why, but I really like killing the zombies on this game. Uh, which is why when the blood, when you get the, when I got the random event, uh, the blood moon rises um, on a different world a couple of days ago, I was really happy because that makes, I think it's about twice, a, twice the amount of mobs spawn, which um, which was fun for me because it was just me, uh, a bow and arrow, and about 14 zombies at a time, which both made me laugh and also made me realise that I am very, very unprepared when it comes to things like that. Uh, I think we'll put, yeah, I think we'll put a wooden, wooden thing across there. Uh, yeah, and then just use the wooden parts for the chests. Okay, um, <clears throat> this it's coming up to the 10 minute mark now, and so I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave it here, uh, and say that I'll see you in the next video. I'm currently thinking about producing one of these, ep well, an episode a week to start off with, just to keep. Uh, just so that I don't tire myself out and uh, exhaust all the content that I have prepared. Um, but obviously if, if they go well then 
I'll produce a few more episodes a week. Uh, but that is almost exactly the 10 minute mark, and I am going to leave it there. Okay guys, thank you for sticking around and watching this. Um, I shall see you in the next video.